So, so my role is in diabetes care. So, so I, I work mainly with BSMS Medical School, but I still hold a clinic with uh, diabetes antenatal service. So I work mainly with women with gestational diabetes. So I, I came from a similar background to Elaine. I started in diabetes. I still do some uh, writing in the area of diabetes and diabetes guidelines. And I did work a long time in diabetes and pregnancy. My role is a little bit different in medical education as I teach phase one physiology, mainly GI and renal physiology. So, so nutrition cuts across lots of different subjects in, in medical education. So we teach within uh, biochemistry, within physiology, uh, the nutrients that we eat um, can, uh, are a, a huge part of the, the biochemical physiological pathways, but also um, in clinical practice, how to talk to patients about food. We know that, that patients expect their doctors to, to be able to talk to them about food, uh, but our research has shown us that uh, doctors are not very confident in their ability to do that. So there's a bit of a mismatch and a, a missed opportunity. Uh, so that's uh, a big part of the education is helping students with their consultation skills. It fits across the board because you know we need to start with our medical students and our doctors looking after themselves. So it starts with their own self-care and understanding how to eat to keep well. And although I'm not teaching nutrition directly all the time, a lot of it does fit in. And we need to remember when we look at the learning outcomes for the graduates from the GMC, nutrition is listed there alongside anatomy and we need to make sure it's treated with the same sort of level of importance. So I think that, the, that, that doctors are very confident, obviously, speaking about pharmacology, uh, but we want doctors to also understand where food fits into the bigger picture. Uh, so uh, it, it might mean uh, that, that doctors themselves are, are giving first line advice, but also thinking about the, what the options that are available to them, so whether that's social prescribing, uh, referring on to the community services, or whether that's referring on for specialist dietitian care, uh, so, so we hope to clarify different roles and where the crossover is. The good thing about using nutrition, you can teach some of the complicated aspects because if you look at drugs and doctors have taught a lot about drugs, it's about how they're absorbed, how they're transported, how they're metabolized and how they're excreted. You can use the same with nutrients and it's something we're more familiar with drugs. So nutrition is not just about how you use it to treat patients, but you can use it to understand the basic sciences behind medicine. 